Now, your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, sponsored by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Looking at some light showers moving across the area. We started seeing some of those early this morning, and most of them have been across the mid and upper valley, but now we can see some of that activity over Cameron County moving very quickly south to north. So you get a brief heavy downpour out of some of these where you see some of that yellow in here, and then they move along real quick and more form down towards the south. So we'll see that for the rest of the afternoon, and any chance we can see some of that again overnight and towards daybreak tomorrow. The winds have been picking up as well. We've already seen some peak wind gusts up around 30 to 32 miles per hour across parts of the lower valley. This is 430 this afternoon. Still looking at some of those stronger wind gusts, but as we go past sunset, the winds really die down quickly, and then we're back to pretty much what we saw this morning, about that 15 to 20 mile an hour range for late tonight and early tomorrow. Here is future cast and looking at that 20% chance of those showers, very uh, quick moving small showers and thunder showers across the area for today. And that's the green on the map, not a lot of it, but we're also going to see a lot of clouds around today as well, more clouds than sun. And so we'll have it mostly cloudy today and tonight. We'll see a lot of clouds towards daybreak tomorrow too, and could actually see a few more of those showers around isolated nature uh, for tomorrow morning. This afternoon though, looking at those temperatures very close to normal. We should be right around 90 degrees, looking at upper 80s and lower 90s across the area. 80 degrees on South Pottery Island with those south southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Again, gusting up around 30 to maybe 35 miles per hour. The stronger wind gusts close to the coast that you go. Speaking of South Pottery Island, the water temperature is now 78. Rip current risk is moderate today. Looking at that small chance of some isolated showers and thunder showers around that surf running four to five feet. Pollen count, we're going to call the uh, alert today medium. We've got medium on grass and ragweed pollen and low on dust and tree pollen for this afternoon. Our next weather maker is going to be coming late this week into the weekend, and it's a developing area of low pressure that's supposed to be forming, expected to form across North Texas. As it does so, it puts these little impulses out and shoots off some showers and thunderstorms in lines across the first one. This is early Saturday across Central Texas, extending out into Southwest Texas, moving across and expected to skirt the valley. So that's why we do have increasing rain chances for Saturday into Sunday as that area of low pressure moves off towards the northeast. Then there's another a little line of instability that moves off towards the south and east, and it also is forecast to clip the Rio Grande Valley. So that's going to be for Saturday and Sunday. Then that area of low pressure starts to make its way back towards the southwest. Depending upon the exact track, we could actually keep rain chances in all the way through the early part of next week. And there's your rainfall forecast then starting on Saturday, Sunday, better chances on Sunday than decreasing at this point for Monday, but we'll watch it real closely. We need the rain still in the worst way in many areas. There's your small chances of isolated showers today and tomorrow. Temperatures near normal, warming things up in time for the weekend.